visual arts. Visual arts is the most popular subject with submitted works and the 12th most popular subject overall. Bodies of work are marked by 78 markers at corporate and itinerant centres during the first four weeks of Term 4. Marks are awarded to the body of work by distinguishing qualities that demonstrate the standards identified by benchmark works, the marking guidelines, syllabus outcomes, written judgments about the benchmark works explaining their placement, and the critical dialogue. Okay, we have student number. Markers always begin by checking the student number, name of the work, number of pieces, and the expressive form. And we have 10 pieces. They ensure the work is displayed according to the student's instructions. So we've got the two large pieces, and then we've got these four. The student wants us to view them down the sides. They orient themselves to the work through an initial, descriptive exploration of the visual codes, clues and qualities, discussing the approach to subject matter. Then a, a cityscape, which is very showing deep perspective. Um, they haven't told us which cities they are, have right. they? They've, they've just no. left it kind of generic, but you get the feeling... European. Yes, yeah, yeah it's like streets. Italy or Spain or something, the cobblestones really. I'm that. Maybe that was water? Could you say that is water? And the gondolas? Oh yes, yeah, yeah. Mm. They discuss how the students yeah, have explored the expressive potential of materials so and where they identify evidence of material resolution. They consider the use of visual language, the overall coherency of aspects within the work, looking at the compositional devices and relationships within and between the panels. The graffito is very is successful in, in that particular area. Yeah, that's interesting how they've left the boats black. But I think that there's been a black underpainting under the whole piece. Can you see that? But where they've then put the... Um, it's a blue, isn't it? It's a, yeah, yeah, it's, it's picking up blue up, up blue there. Like a, yeah. Really dark. Uh, and they really food. want you to see that. There's a, been a, a deliberate intention to... Uh, it gives it an almost illustrative e mm. effect, doesn't it? The subtle um, a palette is a, very successful within this work. It holds it together. Yeah, it really makes it cohesive, doesn't it? Beautiful yeah, really gestural subtle. mark making. The line work that they've gone back and worked over the top is... They've used a lot of different materials yeah. here as well. Like, as ever, like they've left the pencil mark through, but then they've got colour pencils. Look at this beautiful kind of magenta mm -hmm. line. It's a bit of charcoal here as well. And they, that's like some shellac that they've let drip. There's a use of um, decayed wood yeah, and the, the um, peg, and yeah, the pegboard. Um, For me, this really extends the material practice of the student. The dialogue then moves from description to analysis. Markers look for evidence of such things as consideration of audience, acknowledging how artworks may be read for meaning, and for the intentional use of visual devices to position the audience and draw them into the work. The, the vitality is really well. The vitality of like, even though there's no people in the yeah. image, in the, like it's a city, but there's no people here. And it allows you to enter, enter into it because of mm. the um, strong diagonals. It pulls you in. These lines around the light to show kind of the gleaming light and it gives it that feel of um, that there are people in there somewhere. Markers evaluate Confident the sustained exploration of the expressive that, uh, potential of materials and they examine the relationship between individual items looking for overall coherency within and between works and for evidence of curatorial practice. There's a real confidence in working with the materials that... Uh, they've been really ambitious mm, but I kind of get the impression successful. that this isn't the first time they've done this, mm. that there's been a lot of work at work lead up work and decision work making and sort of evaluation. So they really curated yes. this really well mm. to say you know, these are the best places, mm. this is the summation of well, what we've learnt during the So we the can year. see the success within these two larger panels and then I suppose when we look at these smaller, more intimate views. I think that they're just meant to be seen as you know individual compositions. Yeah, yeah closer. And I think they stand on their own. On their own, don't mm. they? As little miniature artworks. The dialogue then becomes more diagnostic. Markers look for further evidence of qualities to support accurate, reliable judgment. For me, this really extends 
the material practice of the student. I mean, we can see that... It's exploring more than just that one viewpoint, isn't it? It's taking another element. It's almost like an abstracted view of some of the elements of the cityscape. Mm. And it's what you see when you go to a lot of these European places, isn't it? You yeah. sort of taken in by some of the decayed areas. I love taking and those close-up photos of textiles. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Me too. Mark has used the marking guidelines, referring to the assessment criteria for the body of work, conceptual strength and meaning, and resolution, and the standards represented by the benchmark works to award an individual mark. And it does evoke a, a strong sense of memory, mm. and, you know, from travel, and there are works in the marking guide that, um, that do that as well, like kind of keying into those places. But, and also the material practice, that confidence. And Consistent, refined, you know, there are, sensitive. If I look at the goal, like, there sure. are areas that are a little less successful. You know, I think the perspective in this panel is a little more convincing than the one with the water. Right, sure. So those inconsistencies are coming through, but overall, it's really successful. So, and these add to it. I think they're, they're an, an integral part, aren't they, of the work? Yeah, Success. it's about that reiteration and, um, mm, yeah. you know, um, it's elaborated, reiterated. So even though it's, it's totally different, it's, you know, much more textured. We're using found mm. objects, mm. perhaps. It's still enforcing the theme of what the student was trying to tell us about the city. Definitely. Markers each record their marks independently. The final mark is an average of the two. The critical dialogue is always undertaken by two markers to ensure there is a comprehensive analysis of each student's body of work. The critical dialogue is absolutely pivotal. Everybody brings their own um, knowledge base to the marking centre, so it's really important to have that dialogue and conversation to bring out all of the positives in the work and also all of the limitations and so we can evenly place it against the guidelines. It's really essential to have those uh, two people come together with their strengths, their knowledge and um, come together to really look out and draw out as much as you can conceptually and materially um, within the body of work.